All right, welcome back. We're going to do dancing flower pots. I originally saw this. Someone had it in front of a apartment house, apartment garden apartments in um, on Bard Avenue. They're tough to water. We'll talk about that a little bit later. Uh, but it was a gorgeous thing, and I couldn't figure out how we had them dancing. But the deal is, you drive steel rebar in the ground, and then slide your pots down along the rebar. And as you put them in, stagger them, and the pipe goes through one by one by one. Rebar comes in 10 foot lengths, a lot bigger than what we're going to need. So take a hacksaw or a sawzall. You can get a cutting tool at your local home center. It's uh, $179 or $300 for a bender and take off what you need. I want this to be about between five and six feet high. So I had to take off about a foot and a half. Don't toss it. You can stake a plant with this and we're going to use it to put a pilot hole. So measure off. I want to be in the middle side to side. That's about four foot. So I want to go four foot from the front and I'm going to put a pilot hole in. Now let's mention, it's very important to know your property, to know what you have. I know I have my water main and my sewer main go across this spot. But we've had to replace the water main already. I know it's three or four feet down. So to put rebar in a foot or two is not going to be such a big deal. In the back, and loosen it up. This is a pilot hole. That'll get your other rebar going. In the back, I have a pipe that runs electricity from the house to the garage. So when I first dug out my beds, it was like working in a minefield. I wanted to make sure I didn't screw up. Now these are pretty tall. So I'm going to be up in the air a little to hammer. This is standard half inch rebar. And this is how it comes. This is used to reinforce concrete. Now I've put a, a knot, I've put a piece of string here as a telltale so that I can tell because all the rebar looks pretty much the same. I can tell when I'm as deep as I want to go. Now the one I saw had one piece of half inch rebar. I put two because if my cars are parked here and I'm flinging flower pots in the breeze, I want to make sure they stay on the bar. So I'm getting closer to my knot. Good. I'll put the second one in and then we'll pick it up again. Our rebar is dug in. Let's get our pots. Now the pots, particularly with two rebar, may not have a big enough hole. So what you might have to do, and I've done with some of them, is take a hacksaw, put a couple of cuts, and widen the hole so that it'll slide down nicely. And the friction will pretty much hold them. These are the plants I used last year. You get a mix of bushy plants. I have a lot of marigolds in my seed pile getting ready for the season. And you stagger your pots. Now what I tend to do is left, right, left, right. But if you choose, you could make them go in a circle and face all different directions. But since our primary goal is people passing by in the street, that's our main audience, I'm just going to go left, right, left, right.
once these are all in, I lift them up. You won't be able to see the rebar. I lift them up as high as so they get to the top of the pole and then underneath put something decorative. What I've done in the past and I'll probably do this time around is put a row of bricks, a circle of bricks, so it looks like they're dancing on top of a wishing well. If you have a, um, if you find an old wheelbarrow, you know, the one with the metal spoked wheels, cut a hole in the bed of the wheelbarrow and slide it down along your rebar and it'll look like you have a wheelbarrow with the dancing pots. So I'm going to lift these up when uh, I uh, get to it and put the, um, and put the, my brick underneath it so that it'll be dressy. One of the problems with this tipped is it doesn't take water. As soon as you pour water in, it spills right out. So something I came up with is you take um, reduce, reuse, recycle. Take a plastic water bottle, cut the top off so it creates a funnel and a little reservoir. Now this will sit behind the bush, people won't see it, and when you water, you water into here, it will slowly go down and the soil will absorb it. This dries easily because there's a lot of surface area for the dirt, so you have to water this at least once a day. You have to keep track of it, particularly when you start. So that's how it goes. I'm going to lift it up. We'll put our uh, bricks underneath it to keep the, get them up in the air so you don't see the rebar. And this will give this magical illusion of dancing flower pots. Pots are in place. I brought out some bricks. Now to hold them up while you build your base, you could take a barrel, uh, a milk can, drill a hole through the top and the bottom, put your milk can down, and have your dancing flower pots balance. To hold them in place, we put a C-clamp. You could take a C-clamp or, um, or a vice grip, and that'll hold the pots while you're working down below. So what I'm going to do now is make my little circle of bricks. And stagger your joints. That will make it more secure and won't tip over and fall. Let's go get more bricks. This is gardening as an aerobic activity. Gardening is good for your health. So these are old reclaimed bricks that were buried in our, my and my neighbor's backyard. And they're sitting in a pile. Let's make them decorative. Let's use them. Bring them back to life. Now this wide gives you a little space to open if it should sway in the breeze, it's not going to knock the bricks over. I have a little bit of slack. My post doesn't come all the way up, so I'm going to come almost to the bottom. Just enough room to take out my C-clamp, and we should be good. So this is another example being that we can't build out, we can build up. I have six, seven, eight plants, because make a mix. You can put two in the same pot. I'll put a uh, bushy, like a marigold, and then um, something that droops down, like an ivy. So you can put a couple in each. And I have then six, eight, nine plants in a space in the one square foot. So it looks good, delights the neighbors, and gives you more opportunity for growth.
people will come by and not have a clue how this happens. And we'll stagger them for a nice finished look. Put the plants in, behind the plants we'll hide a reservoir. And there you have it, dancing flower pot.